This is Fan Tao at uh, Daddario Strings, and we're talking about what happens when a beginner makes one of those scratchy sounds at the beginning of a note, mm -hmm. the physics of it. Right, and, and, and the, the scratchy sound is, is pretty much the same type of sound if you play ponticello, this type of a sound. And, and, and what happens in a ponticello is that the, um, the bow force required to make a string sound properly increases as you get closer to the bridge. You have to use more bow force as you're closer to the bridge. If you don't use enough bow force close to the bridge, um, turns out you can't um, make the fundamental and the lower frequency sound. But there's actually enough bow force to make the higher frequency sound. There's a complicated physics that's behind that. And uh, so this is what happens when you play ponticello. Uh, you only get the higher harmonics and not, not the fundamental. If you're playing down here, a beginner, if they don't know how to use their bow properly, they get, they're effectively playing ponticello down here, right at the beginning of the note, just for a tiny little short duration. Uh -huh. And that's why you get this little scratchy sound. And tell me what the fundamental of the note is. Well, um, all notes um, vibrate with uh, different frequencies. And for a, a bowed note, um, um, you probably heard of overtones and harmonics. Right. Um, a, 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 a bowed note uh, vibrates with the, the lowest frequency, that's called the fundamental. But all of the higher frequencies that vibrate are exact multiples of the fundamental. Right. So, for example, if you're playing a note that sounds 100 hertz, 100 cycles or 100 vibrations per second, then um, the next harmonic is 200 cycles per second, next harmonic is 300 cycles per second, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Right. And, uh, and so if they're exact multiples of the fundamental, they're called harmonics. Right. If they're not exact multiples, then they sound slightly out of tune. Right. And... Um, so, like, to, you can have over, out of tune overtones um, if things are not. Well, right. yeah, but but then we run into other aspects of uh, music theory because, uh, as it turns out, um, you know, our scale, our, our Western scale with octaves, when we try to you know subdivide it into twelve equal pieces, um, the, the 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 twelve equal tempered scale, the actual notes, as most people know, don't correspond to the natural um, intervals of fifths and fourth, pure right. fifths and fourths. So when you play, play, let's say, harmonics, you start to hear that as you play the higher and higher harmonics, they actually sound out, of, they don't sound in tune relative to our tempered scale. Right. And that has to do with all this complicated mathematics and physics. <laughs> Which is what you're specializing in. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Yeah.